Set theory can be used to solve probability problems, but it can also be used to solve problems in counting. And here is one such example. The question is, how many of the first 1,000 positive integers are multiples of neither 6 nor 9? Now to solve this problem, I'm going to define two sets. And the first set will be set A. And set A will contain all of the multiples of 6. And B will contain all of the multiples of 9. Well, the number of multiples between 1 and 1,000 of 6 are going to be 6, 12, 18, 24, etc., all the way up to 996. And there are going to be 166 such multiples because 166 times 6 equals 996. Another way of writing that is n of a, where n is the number of elements in the set a, n of a in this case is 166. Now how about multiples of 9? Well, it turns out there are 111 multiples of 9. Those are pretty easy to see. They are 9, 18, 27, 36, all the way up to 999. And it is easy to see that the number of elements in the set B is 111. Next, there are 55 integers between 1 and 1,000 that are multiples of both 6 and 9. And those numbers are going to be 18, 36, 54, 72, all the way up to 990. And that will be because 55 times 18 is 990. So the number of elements in A intersect B is equal to 55. And so now we go down to a Venn diagram and we can see that in the intersection here you will have 55 elements in A intersect B. These are multiples of 6 and multiples of 9. If we know that there are 166 total in the set A, that's all of this, then these two numbers must add to 166 and that leaves 111 that are multiples of 6 but not multiples of 9. Likewise, if we know that there are a total of 111 multiples of 9, then that leaves 56 because these two numbers have to add to 111. 56 numbers that are multiples of 9 but not multiples of 6. And when you add these three numbers up and subtract them from 1,000, you finally get the answer to the question, which is there are 778 integers that are neither multiples of 6 nor 9.